What's up everybody, Muscle Ammo here again. Very excited to make a tutorial finally after three months. Kind of left you guys hanging. Um, I've been doing a lot more with car shows and car meets, you know, larger events, and I'm gonna keep doing that stuff because I'm getting excellent feedback from you guys. Um, but what I'm doing today is actually a video that I should have made a while ago, and if I would have seen this video when I first got my Jetta, things would have been a lot easier as far as stance and lowering and, and, and wheels and whatnot. So, and this, just as a precursor also, is going to be a video for everybody, not just Mark IV Jettas or Mark IV GTIs. It's going to be for Mark Vs, it's going to be for Civics, for Audi, for BMW, for the whole line of everything. It's pretty universal among the whole platform of cars. Um, and what I'm going to be talking about is everything that has to do with suspension, wheels, fitment, um, lug patterns, spacers, um, my impressions of driving lowered in New Jersey for the past year on terrible roads. Um, I'm pretty much going to go over everything. Now what I'm going to be doing today is putting these on the Jetta. These are XXR 527s. They're 17 inch by 9 and 3 quarters. Now what that means, you're going to see, and I'm going to put it right here, you're going to see measurements every time you look at wheels. Um, you're going to see 17 by whatever or 18 by whatever. Um, what this means, the first number obviously, 17 inch, 18 inch, 19 inch, that's going to be um, how wide the face of the rim is. That's from bead to bead at the bottom. Now these are 17 inch and then after the 17 you're going to see by 9 and 3 quarters, by 9.75. Now what that is, is if you were to turn the wheel front facing like this and you were to take the tire off, 9 and 3 quarters is the measurement in inches of how wide it is from the front bead to the rear bead. Okay, now that's how, pretty much how wide the, the rim is without the tire on. All right, now the next very important string of dimensions and numbers are going to be the tire dimensions. Um, these you could find right on the face of any tire, and they're very, very important if you're trying to get really close to your fender. Now, there's three numbers. Okay, this one, for instance, is 225, 45, 17. Now, the last number is always the size of the rim that the tires are meant to be on. So you'll have 17 there, 18 there if you have 18-inch wheels, 19 there if you have 19-inch wheels. Okay. The first two numbers are going to be the actual dimensions and sizes of the tire. Now, the first number, usually the larger one, it'll usually be in the um, higher 100s or, or, or early 200s, um, is the actual thickness of the tire from end to end. So if I zoom out here, 225 is going to be how wide the tires are. Okay. Now the next dimension in the middle is for fitment, probably the most important, and that's this 45 right here. Um, 45 has to do with the sidewall, okay? Now, I've seen cars um, with as small of a sidewall as 25, which would probably put the, the, the face of the tire right about here, and I have a 45, which is up here. Now, stock might be 65, which is all the way out of frame of the camera. Um, if you're trying to get very close to your fender, you want as little tire as possible so you'd want to go as thick as possible um, a comfortable range is probably between 30 and 40 I see a lot more people with 35 and 40 it shows than I do at 30 and 25 because 30 and 25 is dangerously small tire that's leaving you almost no protection against the beat of the wheel if you hit a curb or something like that so that's pretty much what tire dimensions um, are. Okay, any questions? Because I know this is probably the most confusing of all this until I get to offset. Um, any questions, just leave me in the bottom, all right? And then we're on to lug pattern. All right, now I'm gonna try and explain lug pattern as easy as I can. Um, my wheels happen to be dual lug. Now what this means is they have 10 holes drilled for two different lug patterns, five of one lug pattern and five for another. Now. My car is 5 by 100 which I'm going to put here at the bottom. Typically newer Volkswagen, newer BMW is going to be 5 by 112. Um, somebody correct me on that if I'm wrong about the newer BMW, but I know there are BMWs of 5 by 112. Um, a lot of uh, JDM are 4 by 100 or 4 by whatever because they have 4 bolts that go in the wheel, not 5. Now the first number you see is the amount of bolts, obviously. Um, if you have you know JDM vehicles with let's let's say four by a hundred or four by whatever, um, you'll have four evenly spaced, um, almost like a perfect square that they'll make out of the bolts, um, and the center of the wheel will have four holes drilled. The second number, a hundred or one twelve, is going to have to do with this. And I have two note cards here to kind of show you guys. If I were to evenly measure the center of the top lug to the center of these bottom two lugs, if this were to make an imaginary line, let's say right here, and then you have another imaginary line at the top, if you were to measure between the cards from here down to here, that would be 500 
and 12 millimeters, or in this case, 500, I'm sorry, 112 millimeters or 100 millimeters, depending on if it's 5x100 or 5x112. Alright, now I'm going to try and explain this as easy as possible and I'm going to talk about offset. Offset is one of those confusing things that's actually one of the most important things and some people would say the only important things about the dimensions of a wheel itself. Now if you were to look at the inside of the rim, the inside of the wheel, the part where um, it connects to the actual car, this is where um, the, it meets up to the hub and this is how it's fastened to the car itself. Um, and then obviously bolts go through and hold the wheel onto the car. Now, if you were to look at this flat face, okay, where this meets up to the car, and then you were to go back here and look at the tire. Let's say we can see through the tire and we can see through the wheel itself. If you were to divide the wheel perfectly in half, this is the exact center point of the wheel. What offset is, is offset is how many millimeters off the center this flat hub is. So if I was able to look through the tire and look through the wheel and see the hub, the hub is going to be 30 millimeters off the center. Now that's because these, this, this wheel's particular offset is 30.